All right. Welcome to Video Guys Live. Tuesdays at 3 p.m. We tell you about the technology we sell, the pieces of some products, and we also share with you, you know, some ticks and trips. Tips and tricks. And today's show, we're really excited because we are actually producing today's show remotely. So I am in my office in Mineola. The show is being ran on a wire cast gear in Farmingdale, Long Island. And we're going to bring in two remote guests. We're going to bring in Glenn from Broadfield, and we're going to bring in Jeremy from from Wirecast, they're going to tell about their products when we get to get to that point. But I want to go into a little bit more of, you know, what we're doing here. So if we go to the next slide. And, you know, this epidemic is creating a need for remote guests and remote production. So that's what today's show is about. And more and more people are streaming for obvious reasons and obvious verticals. And social distancing means that live streaming featuring more than one person, you got to bring in that guest remotely because they're not allowed to be in the room with you based on the guidelines of different states and different things that are going on. So let's bring up the next slide. And want to talk about, you know, who, who needs to be in these remote guests? Well, media and entertainment and news, that, that's an easy no-brainer. Corporate video, maybe you want to bring in the VP and host a show. Houses of worship, maybe the, the, the minister wants to bring in someone from another church or from someone outside, or maybe you want to have you know, you got a rabbi and a cantor if it's a Jewish ceremony or whatever you're doing. Then education really remote works really well because let's say you want to bring in a show where you're going to do a show where you're going to teach your kids about a lesson and uh, it's a lesson that's a live lesson that one of your fellow teachers has a really great way of explaining it. Let them come on into your classroom and let them work with your kids and show your kids, you know, all these great ideas you have. So I want to go to the next slide now and talk about some great offers, some great options for web conferencing within your production system. And these are different things that you can use together with your video streaming to get you a level of interactivity to bring in guests who are controlled. So you've got Zoom, you've got Microsoft Teams, and GoToMeeting. All work great. We're going to be doing some future shows on how to integrate those in the future. Like I said, today's show we're doing with Wirecast Rendezvous because we want to be interacting and streaming ourselves as a streaming show. We might have a show in the future that we do go live on Zoom and bring in some guests. So we'll see where we go down the future. So... Let's talk about the tools we have for bringing, rem uh, uh, for bringing guests in remotely to our show. So this is the overview of what the show is going to be on today. If we could bring that up in the next slide, Adam. We're going to start by talking about Wirecast and Wirecast gear and some workflows that they have with Rendezvous and LiveView. Then we're going to talk about the new tech TriCasters with their talk show and Skype TX technology. And then finally, we're going to bring in Glenn, and Glenn's going to talk to us about the Bird Dog Cloud, which is a complete remote production ecosystem based, 100% cloud-based, and uh, very cool stuff. And Glenn's been doing a lot of work with that with the guys in Australia at Bird Dog, so we're really excited to see what he's got to tell us. So let's go to the next slide, and let's review what today's live streaming workflow is. I am broadcasting via Wirecast Rendezvous from my office in Mineola. And we have Adam working a Wirecast gear set up with an X-Keys controller and some other goodies going via Rendezvous in his, it's not his home office, it's basically his living room for the show set up today because he we're, we're all doing socially distant. So that's how we're doing the show completely remotely. And now, without further ado, we bring up the next slide. I want to introduce the next guy we're bringing into the show, and that's Jeremy Klusterman from Wirecast. Now, Jeremy is a Wirecast evangelist who works for Telestream, but he's also a guy who is out there talking to people every day in social media, on different events, on different cool stuff. And Jeremy, I'm going to kick off the show with you to introduce yourself and tell us a little about yourself. Awesome. Thanks, Gary. Uh, yeah, so a little bit about me. Uh, I've been in the live streaming industry and broadcast media for, uh, man, about 10 years. Uh, started out volunteering at, at my church, running camera and just getting involved there. And then it just in, uh, developed uh, into getting hired on staff where I ran uh, our live streaming and then just did camera operation and, and really did a whole lot that, um, you know, when I when I moved out to the, the northern Virginia area, I found uh, Telestream. And started knocking on their door looking for a job, and they hired me and, and asked me to sell Wirecast for them. So uh, happy to do it. Uh, happy to share some of my experience and, and how I do setups and, and all of that 
and just add to add to the community because we know a lot of people are struggling in this time and there's a lot of tools out there so we just want to try and make it as simple as possible and give you the right tools to do this remote live streaming stuff. Awesome. So let's talk about the tool we're using for the show, Wirecast Rendezvous. Now, Rendezvous basically lets you bring in remote users to a Wirecast session via your phone, which could be uh, you have an app. For, you can do it for an iPhone or uh, Android. Also, it allows you to do it from a link that you send through your – we're using our Chrome browser. So, Jeremy, tell us a little more about Rendezvous if you could. If you could. Yeah, Rendezvous um, was, was basically our – our way to bring in remote guests right into the broadcast. So uh, when when you launch Wirecast, one of the options for adding a source is to be able to add a rendezvous source from, from network. Uh, and then it generates a unique URL that you send out to the participants that you want in the live stream that uh, the guest can open that in a Chrome web browser and activate their webcam and microphone in a Google Chrome, or they can activate it on, on their smartphone, on their iOS uh, device, and, and use the, the Wirecast Go app to, to do, do it out in the field with cellular networks. Cool, so let's bring up that a, next oh, slide, Adam. Adam. Basic steps, so basic if we can run steps, through it again. Uh, you're going to start uh, a Wirecast, you create again. a new shot, you're going to add a new source, which is a rendezvous session. Uh, you can bring this up full screen if you want. You're going to copy the link and send it to a remote guest. And once the guest joins, you simply click the add to rendezvous. And now you can bring them in as both a video and audio source all at once. And it really is a straightforward and easy process, isn't it, Jeremy? Yeah, a lot of people who are familiar with like Google Hangouts, it's the same sort of feel um, on the back end of it because you can see the different participants, you can see what's going out live, um, and there's a, a lot of flexibility there for for interaction and and just the value add for for a remote production like this. Cool. And now, Adam, cool. if you could bring up the next slide because I'm going to bring up something that Rendezvous gets a bad rep sometimes because people try to use it with their phones, and what they have is really cruddy cell service at the time. And unfortunately, if you don't have adequate bandwidth, any of these remote tools break down. But the folks at LiveView and Wirecast got together and actually came up with a, a workflow that'll actually let you use your, your LiveView solo. So you bring your bandwidth with you and it could be in the middle of a field or say you're in a church that just doesn't have good bandwidth locally. And you can actually get high res back into your Wirecast show so let's talk about that a little bit and that's using the live view solo and uh garen apps rtmp mini server and uh jeremy take it away because you were very instrumental in proving that this works yeah so i've worked pretty closely with the live view team um on how to how to bring in these feeds so um you know there's a there's a number of ways to do it again with the live view solo it only pushes out rtmp uh well you need an rtmp server to be able to stream nice. that too. Um, you can install that on a Wirecast system or have a separate system, which is which is almost better just for resources, resources and all of that. Always. Uh, but, Always. but you um, install that RTMP mini server on another system and that converts your signal then into an NDI feed, which can be brought into Wirecast. So, so you're able to take that, that video from the field um, you know, a lot of drones, we, we worked with this on drones also, be able to bring in RTMP feeds from that. So from the field, at, um, you know, wherever you're going, you can bring in an RTMP feed right into Wirecast. And we love that. And now let's switch that. over to how Wirecast and Zoom work together. Because what's cool is, is without any extra hardware or anything, you can either bring a Zoom show into Wirecast or you can bring Wirecast into a Zoom conference. So First, let's talk about how you can bring in remote guests. You can integrate, you know, multi-camera production and you can stream your Zoom calls to YouTube. Let's go to the next slide now and let's talk about how you would do it with uh, Zoom call into Wirecast workflow. And Jeremy, I'll let you you review that workflow for our guests. Yeah, awesome. So um, pretty excited about this because I have some some major clients uh, doing doing Zoom uh, Zoom workflows with Wirecast. One of them specifically was telling me they have like ten to twenty thousand uh, people in their Zoom uh, room, their Zoom webinar, 
and then they will um, they'll activate people as presenters when they want them to go live. You know, most of us aren't doing ten to ten to twenty thousand viewers on their on our Zoom. We're doing like you know maybe 10, 15 viewers, uh, so it's a whole lot easier. And you just put lay them up in a tile format in Zoom and do a screen grab of the video that you want to to capture in place that screen grab into Wirecast. Uh, if you want it a little bit more advanced, you can pin the part the Zoom participant as a, as a full screen and do a screen grab of that. So it's a little higher resolution. And that's what my client does. Uh, they do a full screen. Um, actually, on a on a laptop, they'll they'll pin them on a laptop and bring in that audio and video uh, with Remote Desktop Presenter, which is part of Wirecast, and and pull in that video and audio, and that gives them a lot more control. And then going back out to Zoom, you will have to have Zoom installed or running on your Wirecast system, and then you activate the webcam, the virtual webcam, webcam feature in Wirecast, Let's which is that now, Adam. Adam. yeah. That's in the, the output settings of Wirecast. You activate the virtual webcam. The first time you do it, you're going to have to install the drivers. So um, don't try and do this you know, five minutes before a show. Do your testing because uh, it will have you restart, restart your computer. But the virtual camera output of Wirecast then can feed into Zoom just like it were a webcam attached to your, to your Zoom session. So just like you're able to, to choose your PTZ Optics webcam or your Logitech webcam in Zoom or your eyesight from a, from a MacBook Pro, you can, you'll can you see Wirecast virtual camera as a source into Zoom. And that takes the, the production output of Wirecast as a camera feed going out to all the Zoom participants. Cool. Adam, let's cool. advance the slide. And Jeremy, behind you, I see... A TIE fighter and an X-Wing, but it's more exciting. What's on that other side of you? What is in that is box, box, over, box there? over there? Yeah, so this is my Wirecast gear unit. Um, I have Wirecast gear with a Live View uh, 2000. So, um, you know, like I said, I've been working pretty closely with, with Live View. This is, this is my demo rig where, where I have the X-Keys controller and the Wirecast, and I can travel around with this. I've walked, man, probably six, seven blocks in New York City when you could go out on the streets with, with this fly pack, uh, showing it off to customers as demos. Um, but essentially, it gives you a, a really good, you know, single man TV studio in a box. So I have a little audio, audio interface, interface there, uh, the X keys controller, a touchscreen monitor. So I can drive, you know, multiple multiple cameras, uh, PTZ cameras from the Wirecast system. Drive those cameras, take all the inputs out, and then stream it live. Very cool. Very Thank cool. you very much, Matt. Thank, Thank you for being on the show, Jeremy. This was a Fantastic show. Thank you very much. And uh, we're, I'm going to uh, say thank say you and goodbye. And now we're going to bring up the next slide. I'm going to recap the, the Wirecast goodness. So Wirecast Remote Guest Production Solutions include Wirecast with Rendezvous, using Live View Solo to Wirecast, to Zoom into Wirecast, and you can take your Wirecast gear on the go. So we wanted to review all those really cool things that were in there, and uh, we're going to get ready now. And Adam's going to give me a little signal when he's got our new guest in there, and he can bring up uh, that new guest with me side by side, and we'll go to the next slide. So as soon as he's got that going, I'll know because I'll see it. There it is. Awesome. Our next guest is Glenn Seaman from Broadfield, and he is a workflow expert. And today he's, he's going to be helping help us out with two sets of workflows, New Tech and Bird Dog. But the first workflow we're going to talk about with Glenn is New Tech, tech TriCasters and New Tech Talk Shows with Skype TX features. So give us a little rundown about uh, the TriCasters and what level of Skype TX they have. And let's dig a little bit further into just what Skype TX really is. Glenn, you're muted. <laughs> okay, that's better. So, um, the, hi, Gary. Hey, uh, how are you? The, the TriCaster Mini, the new one, the new TC Mini 4K is the first entry point into Skype TX. That gives you a single channel of Skype. So that basically means you can bring in one person at a time. You can have others waiting in a queue, but that gives you a single channel of Skype TX. Uh, then you can step into the TC410, which is also a single channel. 
And then you get into dual channel with the TC1, which means you can have, you know, two two people coming in in Skype in real time at the same cool. time. Cool. Adam, let's bring up the next slide and let's have Glenn go a little bit more into just how Skype TX works and what goodness it brings and why it's different than other solutions out there. Yeah. So, you know, the, the way rendezvous is working, the way, you know, you can do it, you know, very simply is using something like NDI scan converter. With NDI scan converter, a couple of weeks ago, we did a, a call where we brought in a team session using scan converter and it's great, but you know, you're, you're taking the stream from a computer, you're capturing that, re-encoding that, and it, you don't have any control. You've got a lot of other processing and potential compression issues going on in the background. Um, you have a lot more feedback issues. The nice thing with using Skype TX is it's, it's integrated into the system. So you have a call queuing system so you can see who's online. You can click, click on them very quickly. Um, it's a direct connection, so it's not jumping through another computer to do an additional encoding pass. So you have better sync quality. Um, they've set up a talkback channel so people can on the Skype actually hear the broadcast and hear things. So it's, a, it's that tighter level of integration where yes, you know, Scan Converter, uh, which is a free NDI tool, or or you know, other products out there can do it and they can get it done if you absolutely need to. But for bringing up the quality of production and and the reliability, going with a dedicated solution like Talk Show is the uh, you know Talk Show is the right way to go. So so let's go to the next slide and talk about Talk Show because Talk Show really was available before New Tech integrated this technology into TriCasters. And there's two flavors of Talk Show. There's a Talk Show 100, which is a single channel, and the 4000, which is four channel. But what I want to stress here is these work with any mixing device that basically has an SDI connection. So basically, whether you're going with an old style like Roland manual mixer or whether you're going with a uh, vMix or Wirecast gear or TriCast or anything that you want, you can use talk shows to bring in Skype TX or to bring additional Skype TX channels. So if I had a TC1, I can use the talk show 4000. Now I have six remote guests I can bring in. Correct, Glenn? Correct. Yeah, and that's the thing. So again, yeah, I kind of mixed the two because I was thinking of them together. There's the Skype TX, which is what runs, runs all of this. And you know, the, the Wirecast, I'm sorry, the 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 TC Mini, the 410, Tri the TriCaster, all of those have some form of type uh, Skype TX built into it. The, the talk show itself is the standalone appliance that, like you said, can be added to anything or can be added even to an existing TriCaster to give you even more all controlled through that same interface, just bringing those, you know, more content, more remote guests in. Cool. And let's uh, go to the next slide, if we could, Adam. This kind of is our workflow kind of screen showing how you get the Skype going and what's involved here. And really, I think what, what needs to be stressed here is it's a really easy workflow. It, whether you're doing it with the talk show alone or whether you're doing it integrated through a TC1 or a TriCaster, it's really basically simple. They come, uh, your guest comes in as a channel, and you have a conversation with them like they're in the next room with you. This is what we use in our studio. I brought you into a few shows, Glenn, in the past. And, you know, it's funny because today's show, we're doing Rendezvous with two guests. We never actually did two guests at the same time on our show with, with Talk Show, not because we couldn't have the technology. We just didn't have something that warranted it. But on this show, we're actually having three guests do Rendezvous. So talk show, rendezvous, they all work great. But I want to stress that one of the coolest things about the the, the talk show is that talk show of 4,000 that's going to let you bring in four remote guests to any video switching solution that has an SDI input available. Yep. All right, Glenn, if we can go to the next slide. The next topic we're going to go to is something really, really cool that basically was in beta till very recently and is now available. And why I want to bring this up that's so cool is it's the Bird Dog Cloud, and this is a platform for complete remote live production. This isn't just bringing in remote guests. This is having everything go through the cloud, and it's really exciting because you could take Bird Dog PTZ cameras that could be on different parts of the world, different cities. You can have your remote mixer, your person doing your show in a whole other city, and it can all be brought together through the cloud with extremely low latency, and I'm really impressed by it, but I haven't really been able to get my head around how this whole thing works, Glenn. To me, it's still in that magic 
thing. So if you could kind of go through the next slide and explain to us just what that magic is and how it works, I'm really going to give you the floor for a while now, Adam. So just if you can bring up slide the next slide and let Glenn uh, start explaining how this bird dog cloud actually works. And the one thing I do want to mention is one more slide, Adam, if you could. The, the bird dog cloud has some really big interest by some people who are some major, major organizations looking and testing this right now. And I can't drop the names of them, but this is not something, if you're thinking about doing it for a church, believe me, this is going to work great because the people trying to look into this are with, you know, multiple, multiple locations and users all over the world. And when you think about it, if you're watching the news today on any channel, you're seeing guests come in remotely. And a lot of times those guests are doing on a live view or something else. And there are some people looking at using the bird dog cloud to go to a complete remote production during this virus. So Glenn, you talk about the technology. I talked about the hype. Yeah. And, and I'll talk a little bit about the hype and the technology because it's, it's really impressive to see it working. And um, it, it, you know, it's a little hard to get your head around. Uh, basically, you know, what it allows you to do is it allows you to have distant, NDI locations that can now share content. It takes a remote location and makes that NDI content feel like it's in-house. So, you know, you've got a great little graph there. If you can bring that up full screen, Adam, that would be sweet. Um, you know, a little graphic there kind of shows you different scenarios of, you know, maybe you've got one, you know, one location where it's just got a camera, a bird dog decoder and a headset. Maybe you've got another location where you need multi-viewing capability. Then you've got, you know, your production. So, Really, you know, the production we're doing now, we could almost do using Bird Dog Cloud. We're not ready there yet because we're still trying to build the infrastructure and get around some of the networking things and equipment issue, equipment setup. But we're going to be there very soon. I think we're going to do that on a future show. But, you know, let's let's just click on the next side where I can really break it down a little bit about what we're doing. And just click again there. It's kind of an animated slide. So we're just going to take two locations here. And... We're going to talk about where I am, which is I've got a PTZ camera, uh, a bird dog encoder. Give it one more click there, Adam. Okay, so I'm here in Dallas, and you know I've got a, a workstation. So what you've got is you have an endpoint. An endpoint is where all of your devices connect to. So in my case, I've got a laptop running on my network that can see all my ND, NDI devices already, and it is an endpoint that is talking and connecting up to the cloud. And then click again, Adam, over New York, in um, Farmingdale, where Adam is, we've got another endpoint and it can see all his devices. The cloud initiates the handshake between those two devices and then sends that NDI stream over SRT, over Secure Reliable Network Transmission. And so you can add encryption to it and things like that. And Adam, if you just wanna go full screen on my laptop for on, on me for a minute on my computer. Oh, I've got to actually share it, don't I? So let's do that real quick. Share my screen. So let me know when you can see this, Gary. Yeah, right now I'm still seeing you. Uh, there. Now I see your screen. Cool. Okay. So I'm not going to dive too much into the technology here, but this is kind of the proof of concept that I want to make. What we're looking at here is just a patch bay of all my different transmitting sources, all my different remote sources. What I've got is we've actually got Jeremy. This is his Wirecast gear over here. <laughs> and... You know, I've connected it to my system here in Texas. So what I can do is I can come over to NDI Studio Monitor. Here's my local PTZ camera, which, you know, we can quickly pull up, um, which is probably buried in the wall right now. So there's my local PTZ camera, but I can also jump over and grab Jeremy's PTZ Optics camera. And... Uh, and there we go. There so there's is. Jeremy. There's Jeremy. So not only can I see Jeremy live, but I also can control his camera. So we can just quickly click on this and I have full camera control. So this means I can do a remote production very quickly, taking in his feeds, controlling his camera. And we'll jump back to me now here. Okay, so Glenn, we are in an inception moment. This is the remote production within the remote production within the remote production. <laughs> Yeah, don't look too long. Um, <laughs> but you know that's, that was that's super cool. Thank it. you. Yeah, no, and that's that's what I want people to see is that's exactly what we're doing. Is so I'm able to control and take Jeremy's feed in, and in the same token, I can send him my cameras just as well. So just click to the next slide, Adam. 
Cool. And bring that. So, you know, what this, what this gives us. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to go into all the detail, but the main thing is if you just look at these two points as, you know, we've got San Francisco and I think um, I can't read this Melbourne. slide, Melbourne, you know, kind of in there. And what's happening is, you know, the cloud makes the handshake between the two systems and then they transfer back and forth and you got PTZ control, you've got tally control, you can send alpha channels. Um, there's a lot of features that are built into this product. A um, couple of main things I want people to walk away knowing too is it's not just bird dog cameras. Jeremy had a PTZ optics camera. I've got a new tech camera. Um, both of those are NDI HX, so it's not just full NDI. It works with anything that's NDI. So it just opens up everything to the system. So yeah, that's kind of the high level overview. So, so Gary, Bird ask your questions. Basically taking NDI to a whole nother level with this because it's, you know, it's remote production. So I, so I want to ask you a question. This could be a trick question. I don't know, but you know, there's going to be a time soon where I'm going to be back in my studio in front of my green screen. Could you be operating the show via the cloud with a TriCaster and actually put me in a, a virtual set that you're running out of Texas while I'm in Mineola? Yeah, and Jeremy and I were talking about that. That's kind of why I'm sharing. Jeremy, we, he did a little test yesterday where we pulled the we pulled his green screen from Melbourne. So he was using his cameras, pulled a green screen, brought it in. So th there's that way of doing it. So yes, I mean, that's that's gonna be the real beauty of this is you walk into the studio, you turn on the lights and the cameras and you know myself or Adam produce it, we key you in. Um, you know, Bird Dog also has the ability to, the cloud can send a separate alpha channel. So if you've got uh, equipment that can send a, um, a key and a fill, then you can actually even save the transmission and get a higher level key by just sending the key in the fill so it supports alpha. So if we were doing a sporting event be. and I was going to pretend to be in the booth, if I had a camera that was just taking the shot from the booth of the stadium and I was in front of a green screen, maybe with my back or my side to the green screen, it could actually look like I was in the booth at the game even though I was in Mineola and the game was in Australia. Correct. Wow. Yeah. This is some cool stuff. I want to thank you. We had one more slide that you had up there. Do you want to walk through that one, Glenn, or did you jump ahead on it already? I think you kind of showed uh, no, it. No, that was just kind of the that, that was really the pricing. Um, because it's you know a, a great thing to know is you know, Bird Dog, it's you can buy it um as a monthly subscription and they have different parts of it. So the endpoint is just the core uh, endpoint core just gives me the ability to send NDI signals from one place to another. It acts as a, a local um, makes everything remote act like a local NDI feed. And then you can add multi viewers to that, uh, web RTC. That's another thing too, is, you know, this can take a web RTC stream and turn it into an NDI feed on your local network. It can take other SRT streams as well and turn them into local feeds. Um, so, you know, you've got package pricing as far as buying everything on a monthly subscription plan, or really where the, the great deal is the annual plan where you buy the annual plan, it's everything you need, all the options, and it's, it's a significant savings. The one thing people real, need to realize is you need at least two endpoints to start. You need, you know, it's not really a send and receive because both can do either, but you need a destination and a source and, you know, two endpoints to start, and then you can just start growing right. from there. So your basic package to start is really going to be $2,000 a year. So, yeah. you know, this isn't yep. for you to do one show. Well, well if the one show is going to net you $10,000 maybe, but... If you're, if you're going to be committed to remote production, you think about it, even at $2,000 a year, that, even with the extras, you're looking at less than $200 a month, and you're producing a show from anywhere to anywhere, and now you have to just send camera people someplace. You don't have to travel with a production truck. I mean, the, 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 you're, you're, the, the savings on this are incredible when you expand this down well, to where it can go. I got one better than you because this is the people I'm talking to. You're not even sending a cameraman. What they're doing is they're building laptops – they're pre-staging them. They're shipping a laptop, a tripod, and a PTZ camera, and they're just asking the person to set it up. Wow. And that's it. Wow. Because because you can control the camera remotely. And and that's and they're going that one of the companies we're working with, they're going city to city. They're doing, you know, one person this week, next week it's somebody else. And they're just packaging it all up, shipping it, and that's it. Super cool. Well, I want to thank both you guys. Adam, is there any way for you to bring both guys up on the screen at the same time? If I'm not in the screen, it's okay. Or all three of us, that would be great. And I know I'm springing this on you last minute, so I apologize. <laughs> cool. And uh, 
just want to say once again, I want to thank everyone for today's remote show where we went remote within remote within remote at one point with the cloud. But what we've got here is this is Gary. I'm I'm video guys. I'm in Mineola still. I'm in my office because I don't have anyone here from the video production team to be in the studio to produce the show. I have Adam in Farmingdale producing the show. And then I brought in two remote guests. I brought in Glenn from Broadfield in Texas who talked about the Bird Dog Cloud and New Tech Talk Show. And then I have Jeremy, you're in Virginia, correct, Jeremy? And Jeremy's here for, uh, to talk about wire. There we go. So, guys, so, guys, I'm going to let you I'm take gonna a let turn. You take- Give me your last words. Jeremy, your last thoughts. Yeah, my last thoughts is I'm so excited for for the options that this uh, brings brings about because, like Glenn was saying, you can you can uh, spin up a laptop or some sort of Windows server, ship it with a with a PTZ camera and a tripod, and do re- total remote productions. Um, you know, again, using the Wirecast gear system, and and you you really. It, it's endless and we have a lot of customers doing workflows just like this you know not necessarily with bird dog cloud yet we're we're just trying to ramp those up but but taking remote feeds in and doing remote and, and once again, remote and once again different levels of remote level. and we started the show with basic rendezvous which is i'm going to say is basic not to put it down but i mean it's a great solution that works it's really not complicated it's super easy to do with wire gas up to more elaborate systems. Glenn, you want to share your last thoughts for the show for the, for our audience? Yeah, I mean, t- two weeks ago, Bird Dog Cloud, like you said, it was beta, it was whispered, it was whispered. people were kind of getting the rumbling of it. Over the last two weeks, it has exploded with what people are trying to do with it, uh, the testing. Uh, I've spent a lot of time just trying to get people's heads around how it works because it, it is you know, very simple and very impressive when you see it. Um, again, like I said, we're trying to get it set up in our our facility so we can do it and so that you can do it, Gary. And that's more just of, hey, let's have the equipment in place. And it's really tough when you've got nobody in the building to go and install software on a machine or power up something. But I think it's it's changing things. You know, the, the, like Jeremy said, I hate to echo it, but the thought of just being able to ship a laptop and a camera to a remote location and bring in guests at super high quality is is fantastic. And my last thoughts for both you guys is, you know, I don't think we give Dr. Cross and New Tech enough credit for this whole NDI thing. And I know we all knew the world was going to go to IP, but what New Tech and Dr. Cross delivered was workable, functional tools that just keep getting better and better. We're seeing that the folks at Bird Dog now have a suite of applications available to work with their PTZ cameras. The Wirecast guys, every time I talk to Jeremy, they found the new hook with NDI to make it better. We know what the folks at New Tech are doing. I mean, I just want to, I think collectively we can give a virtual high five to the whole team at uh, New Tech for giving us the technology that has really made the world smaller while keeping our social distance. So high five to New Tech, high five to you guys. Thank you very much for coming on the show. And uh, now I think we can go to what's coming up on the next show. So I'm going to say goodbye goodbye to you guys, and I'm going to take it from here. Yes. All right. Our next show will be Video Guys Guide to Live Streaming with Zoom. We're going to show you a lot of different ways to use Zoom and our live streaming products and how to integrate them together, how you could take a Zoom conference and bring it out to, say, Facebook or YouTube, or the flip side, how you could take a Facebook or YouTube, your big stream with all your video production quality and bring it into Zoom. So that's cool stuff that we're doing and very exciting. And then after that, well, I would have to say, nope, don't go with the slide yet because I want to talk about the Sling Studio, probably the hottest product in the world right now in our industry segment for live streaming is the Sling Studio. And it's just, the reason is because it's easy to use, it's affordable and it works. And did I mention it's easy to use, which is so important. You can bring in cameras, iPhone, you can bring in cameras through the camera link. You can bring in iPhones, you can bring in Android uh, phones in. It's a really cool solution. We're going to talk more about the Sling Studio, how it works, a recap on where they are today and how people are using it for social distancing because, you know, live streaming enables you to spread your word while flattening the curve. And that's what our shows have been about, how live streaming is now more important than ever in this world and where we are today. And speaking of flattening the curve, if we could go to the next slide, Adam, we flatten the curve here. Our video production and our sales team, they, they're working from home, working remotely. So we know on our 800 line that's created some issues where all calls aren't going through and we apologize. We're working on that with our cloud phone server. But in the meanwhile, just if you need to reach us, 
sales at videoguys.com. The chat box works great. But also on this page, you can get to this page from our main page of our uh, Video Guys website. You can click on the how to contact us. We have the direct contact phone numbers for our sales team. And that'll go directly, that's routed directly to their cell phone. So please, by all means, you can still call us. We're still here. I know people have been frustrated and leaving messages for us. And we didn't realize how far things had gotten away from us. But we've gotten control of it now. And if you call us, we're going to get back to you very quickly and help you with these products and, and, and help you get uh, what you need as quickly as possible. Let's go to that last slide. Web streaming with remote guests. I think today's show was a hit. We went a little long. Of course we went long. Why? Because I always go five minutes longer when I have a guest. I had two guests, so now I'm going 10 minutes too long. What can I tell you? I like to talk, and so do my buddies and my guests. But thank you all for watching the show. This was Video Guys Live, 3 p.m. on Tuesdays. Even though my team's not here and I can't be in the studio, we're still going to do our show. We're going to tell you about all the technology we sell. We're going to tell you about the products we sell. And we're going to help you make live streaming a reality because we understand houses of worship, education, corporate, government agencies. You need to communicate with people when you can't get together and gather together in meetings. And live streaming is a great way to do it. We've done a couple of past shows that I recommend you watch if you haven't watched them already. The first one was on live streaming in general. The second one was on uh, some bundles of different gear together. And in those shows, we've also given some great tips for producing your first live stream and streaming and what you need to do to get better at it. So please watch those programs as well. This was Gary from Video Guys. You know, like us on Facebook, uh, like us on Twitter, spread the social love. We appreciate it. Peace. Video Guys is available Monday through Friday. Give us a call at 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram to stay connected with all of our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.